All right. What's going on, everybody? Elijah Fatal, Fatal Book here, man. The time is currently 4.10 in the afternoon. The date is the 9th. No, today is the 10th. Today is the 10th. At the time of recording this, today is the 10th of March. And we have our artist journey update. So uh, once again, if you guys don't know me, my name is Elijah Fatal. I'm an independent music, I'm an independent music artist. I go by Fatal Book. Um, I do hip-hop and R&B music. I write hip-hop and R&B music. And um, these artist journey updates are to update you guys about my life so far. Um, what I've been thinking about, what I've been going through, and, um, you know, just where I'm at mentally, um, and my life journey as well. Uh, today, I decided to make the topic about self-healing, um, and what has music become for me while I'm self-healing. So, um, you know, I've started this music journey, uh, 10 months ago, coming up 10 months ago, um, because I was going through a lot of things emotionally and mentally, mentally that I couldn't really quite understand. And ever since I was um, a child, I've been, you know, writing music. I've recorded music in my high school days um, as a means to express myself in a way that I could actively express myself and get my feelings away from inside of me into outside into the world. Um, excuse me. So in doing so, I, um, you know, I decided to become a music artist back in May. I've talked about this already, but... Um, you know, I've been writing basically every day of my life since May. I've probably missed like 10 days altogether uh, writing because I also, in in making music and creating these songs, I'm also journaling um, how I feel about myself, how I feel about the world, my life um, in itself. And that's what these songs are for me. Um, especially the, my, EP on Fates, my EP Fates here. That entire EP was to show myself that I can actively talk about my feelings and be true to myself um, because even though it's entertainment it's also my way of expressing myself so you know um, that's that's why I, I made EP my EP fades here you guys can go stream that YouTube Apple Music Spotify um, but you know you guys see I have my microphone here this thing has saved my life these headphones saved my life man like the computer I have right here in front of me everything saved my life man um, because last year at a time, you know, I wasn't feeling the greatest about myself, uh, mentally, physically, or emo emotionally. And it's just been a journey to get to this point, even right now, uh, with my own place. I didn't have my own place last year when I started creating music. I actively was, um, sitting back thinking about it, uh, you know, my life so far. And it's like, I've really been waking up every single day to do music because, you know, this is just this is just my entire life right now. My life is connected to the music that I, I write and I create. Um, so this isn't like a, a thing I do for fun. Like there's people who make music for because it feels good and it's for fun. You know, but this isn't something that I mean it feels good of course and yeah I have fun doing it, but this isn't for the fun part. This is my way to express myself and actively talk about however I'm feeling. Um, and I like to hear how I like to hear myself talk about, you know, what I'm going through because there are times where I would never talk about what was going on with me in a way that in a way that would be constructive and positive uh, going forward. So that's why I've been, you know, writing and creating these songs. Um, on my Twitter, I just talked about it. Or you guys go follow me on Twitter, uh, Fatal Book, at Fatal Book. Um, you know, I was just talking about when I was 12, I always wanted to be a rapper always wanted to be a rapper um, because I loved how the rappers around my time, I think there was like J. Cole, you know, Lupe Fiasco. Um, those are the guys I was listening to at the time. They were telling actual stories. And I didn't know that they were talking about things that actively pertain to them and things that they cared about. I just knew that they were making songs that I felt like I resonated with. And, um, you know, that's what I always wanted to be. I always wanted to be a rapper since I was 12 years old. Um, I remember my father told me on the phone one time, uh, God bless his soul, um, we were on the phone and, you know, he was like, if anytime you're feeling anything, I remember it like it was yesterday, anytime you're feeling anything, write it down on a piece of paper and then throw it away, you know, but I, I came to a point when I would write it down and I would never throw away the paper. I just kept the paper. I remember keeping the paper that I would be writing on, um, just writing how I feel about, you know, what I'm going through at the time. 
um, how I feel about things going on with my family because I was going through a lot of stuff with my family at that time too. Well, we were all going through stuff at the time with my family. Uh, my family and I, you know, we um, we were living at my, my aunt's house and, you know, my dad wasn't, we didn't live with my father and then um, my mom was, you know, a single parent doing her own thing, um, trying to work, excuse me, provide for us. I'm the oldest, so I was too young for the younger kids, but I had to watch the old, the younger kids, and I was too young. No, I was too old for the younger kids, but I had to watch the younger kids, and I was too young for the older kids. So I couldn't hang out with the older kids, so I had to be basically not alone, but you know, with the kids and uh, watching them. Um, you know, and you know, life was good. Like I can't say that you know things were bad or nothing. I think every person has, like, we all go through stuff in our life. We all, that's one thing I've also realized through writing and recording is that we all go through stuff because that's what connects everybody through music is the fact that we all go through something, whether it be, like, trap music or, like, drill music or Christ, uh, gospel music, country music, or even me, hip-hop and R&B. Um, we're all going through something as far as, like, some type of emotion, and somebody's outwardly able to say, this is what I'm going through, or this is what I'm experiencing right now. And they were like, oh, okay, I feel that same thing. Even the dudes that talk about, you know, like shooting and drugs and everything like that, like, that's not my favorite thing to hear and listen to. But if that's their experiences, then I can't blame them for speaking about their experiences. That's like me getting upset, or somebody getting upset at me for speaking about my experiences. You know, I can't. Um, and that that's made me, like, understanding that has just made me love life and love music even more. Um... I don't have like a specific. I I would say I like hip hop and R and B, but I love all music. I can listen to Christian. I can listen to gospel music. I can listen to country music. Um, I've listened to rock music at open mic, and I fucking be jamming out and shit. I find myself to honestly, on a side note, I find myself to be a rock star, cause once the once the once the rock people like the guitarist and the uh, they got I get a drummer and then somebody else play the guitar. I can hop on the mic and I can freestyle a fucking rock song. So, I might be a rock artist too. <laughs> um, you know, but. Even being able to talk about music in such a positive way, um, and how it's influenced me, that's how I've um I've gotten my self healing through music, man. You know, um recently recently I hit a point in my life where I'm like, I don't know if I wanna keep doing this. Um, and of course I'm gonna keep doing it, but <laughs> 'cause I'm making this video. But um, you know, it's just a lot. It's a lot as an independent music artist. And what it's telling me is that you should be able to, you can't fold under pressure. You can't fold under pressure. Like, I can't fold under pressure, you know. And I feel I feel a lot of pressure. And I put a lot of pressure on myself, too. Um, I want to create great songs. Excuse me, great songs. I want to live my dream as a music artist, you know. I, um, I'm i always going to deal with anxiety. Like, I'm twiddling my fingers right now because I'm just, I just feel energy right now. Um, I just feel it. Um, you know, I'm writing, I'm recording, you know, I, I'll hit walls where like, even right now I have to record some of my songs over or at least like fix things in my songs cause I don't have the right things in there and whatever the case may be. Um, and sometimes it makes me feel bad, you know, or like I work a full-time job. Um, and I, I like, um, you know, I, I, I know for a fact I have to work. I have to work in order to, you know, pay for my bills and um pay for my music career in any type of way but it's just it's just i would say that the idea because my entire brand and image is telling the truth and keeping it as real as i can be and also owning up to my mistakes while also holding myself accountable that's a lot because i'm basically taking on the idea that if i want to be the man that I, I know i can be to know the man that i know that's in me um I have to take myself accountable for my actions and I have to be able to speak the truth. So during my songwriting, I have three notebooks here. I have like three more in my bag behind me uh, full of lyrics and planning ideas and everything like that because I didn't know that this was going to be like something I had to really like think about. I thought it was just, I just release music and then be done. But even through that trial and tribulation is out helping me love making the music even more because I I want to be heard. I want to to have my music shared and expressed, um, 
not to just be like, oh, like I don't like I don't plan on being the biggest artist in the world. I'd love to if you guys follow me. Um, I wouldn't mind being. I don't. I'm not like oh, I want. I'm going. I'm going to be the biggest artist in the world. I want to make songs and music that connects to people in a way that helps them on their journey. I don't feel like I go and make anything that doesn't um, resonate with myself. The music I make, like I make a bunch of different things because I'm. A, I have a. I have a bunch of different you know things going on with me. I make emotional music. I make songs like I made a song the other day where I was talking about being accountable for my actions and my mistakes in my life. And I fucking didn't record nothing after that because I just couldn't get out of my head about how much fucked up shit I have done. And even then, it's like um, you learn, you live and you learn. And that's what I've learned through music and writing these songs is that you live and you learn. Um you know, I've I've made mistakes. I've done things that I should have probably have not done. I've done I've didn't do things that I should have done. You know, and that's life. That comes with life, and that's one of the things I've learned through doing music. So, um, just wanted to talk about healing myself through music. So far, I'm ten months in, and I've shed a, I've shed a lot of tears to get to where I'm at right now, mentally, physically, and emotionally, and I feel like a lot more tears are gonna come, and I welcome them. So. Um, you know, life is crazy right now. Like I'm paying bills. I'm, you know, trying to market my music. I'm behind on releases as I speak right now. I'm recording. I'm going to open mics. But this is what I wanted to do. This is my life and this is the life that I wanted to live. I'm just actively living it. So it's like, excuse me. It's actually, uh, I wouldn't say it's hard. I would say it's difficult to... It's difficult, but even at the same time, it just comes down to discipline. It comes down to discipline. It comes down to being aggressive. It comes down to actively knowing that you are here for a reason and you are somebody else's light. The truth I've been telling myself out loud while doing my music is that I'm black, I pay rent, and I drive a blue Toyota Celica. So those are my truths. So I shouldn't be ashamed to speak of my truth anything past that. Because once again, the main truths about me are, I need glasses. That's another one I just thought about. I need glasses. I drive a blue Toyota Celica. I am African American, black, and I pay rent. There's no reason to be scared to say any other truth other than that. There's no reason. Um, right now, I feel calm. I've had anxiety. I felt very um, all over the place. I feel like I'm not doing enough. But. I don't do this for like the recognition. I do it for the love. The recognition comes afterwards. So this is how I feel about myself and how I've healed myself is through my music. And I know I will never stop doing it. As much as as much as it pisses me off, as much as it, you know, there's things about the industry that I don't like. I don't do it for the money. I do it for the love for it, first and foremost. So that's the video for today. Um, this video was supposed to be recorded yesterday. I wasn't feeling too good yesterday. Um, I'm not feeling the greatest still, but I still want to get the video recorded and out. Um, these artist journey updates will be start. I've changed them from Thursday to Friday, um, so they're going to be released on Fridays. I also have a lyric video for Strength, my song Strength, and a lyric video for my song Motivated coming out today. Um, so those are going to be uploaded. So you're going to get three uploads from me today. So yay. Anyway, um, yeah, just learning how to be myself. And continue to aim myself. And that's all I can do. And all I can be. But thank you guys for watching. Once again, it's a larger Fatal Fiddle Book here. Uh, my newest EP, Fate Here, is available still on Spotify, YouTube, Apple Music. Uh, a lot of people are still listening to it. A lot of people are still finding out about it. So I hope you guys can go listen to that. I'll leave the buy. I'll leave the description. No, I ain't gonna leave nothing. Apparently, I'm gonna leave the link to the song and uh, the EP in my uh, bio. You guys can go check that out. I have a song that I'm dropping in April. Um, I'm going to be doing a, a single every month after that. So, um, yeah, I feel good. It's, I feel good. I feel good about the next the next year. The next year, because I've learned a lot so far. So we got a lot of stuff coming out for you guys. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. You guys stay safe. It's a beautiful day outside, the time I'm recording this. I didn't go outside today. I should go outside for a little bit. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Once again, it's Elijah Fatal, Fiddle Book, and I'm signing out of here. Peace.